At the end of King Solomon's reign over Israel, God told a man named Jeroboam that he would become king over all but one of the tribes of Israel. But Solomon wasn't ready to give up the throne, so he tried to kill Jeroboam, who escaped and fled to Egypt. A short while later, Solomon died, and his son Rehoboam was named king. The people were unhappy with the heavy taxes placed on them and went to complain, along with their spokesperson, Jeroboam. Despite their complaints, the king refused to listen. Furious, most of Israel made Jeroboam their leader and lived in the northern territory called Israel, where Rehoboam ruled over the southern tribe called Judah. After being a united country for many years, Israel was now split in two. The new king of the Northern Territory, Jeroboam, was worried that when his people returned to the South in order to worship at the temple in Jerusalem, they might be persuaded to become loyal to Rehoboam instead of him. So he devised a plan. He constructed two golden calves and told his people that they were the gods that helped them escape from Egypt many years earlier. Then he had a huge festival to worship these gods, and unbelievably, the Israelites went along with it. Then one day, Jeroboam was at one of the altars making a sacrifice, when a man who followed God approached Jeroboam and warned him that his kingdom would soon be ruined. Jeroboam stretched out his arm and shouted, Seize him! As he did, his hand shriveled up. Terrified, Jeroboam pleaded with the man to pray for him. So the man prayed for Jeroboam's hand and it was healed. Even after this display of God's power, Jeroboam still led the people to worship other gods. For years, Jeroboam and Rehoboam were at war. When Rehoboam died, his son and then grandson took over as kings of Judah. His son worshiped other gods just like his father. But Rehoboam's grandson, Asa, was different. Asa got rid of the idols and was fully committed to following God. The northern kingdom of Israel continued to be led by a series of wicked men, none of whom followed God. One of these kings was Ahab, who did more evil in the eyes of God than any king before him. Perhaps worst of all, Ahab married Jezebel a woman from a foreign country who convinced him and almost all of Israel to worship a foreign god named Baal. Because of this, God would need to send a messenger to set things straight.